Oh no, oh no, oh no, this is bad, this is bad. The squirrel is falling. Okay, okay, okay. Don't panic. Do not panic. That is the worst thing you could do right now. Will the squirrel survive? Maybe. Okay, if it's falling into lava, obviously it's not going to survive. That's a given. Moving on. If it's falling into normal ground, then we need to know one thing. Ah, okay, okay. How fast is the squirrel going? So, average weight of a squirrel, 500 grams. Atmospheric pressure burst, no one gives it. Terminal velocity of a squirrel, 14 meters per second. That's fast, but what is terminal velocity? Well, when gravity equals air resistance, the squirrel can't go faster because there's air in the way that won't move out even for a fat little squirrel. Now, there you get terminal velocity. That's the 14 meters per second maximum speed a squirrel can go. Okay, so if we work out the fluffiness of a squirrel and divide that by the teeth length and the... Oh, oh, the squirrel is fine. Squirrels can survive falls from 14 meters per second. They can survive falls of basically any height. Well, how high would I have to drop a squirrel to kill the little? About 7,250 kilometers. That's about this high away from Earth. Okay, okay. That's because if I dropped it from this high, it would take six days to fall to the Earth, which is enough time for the squirrel to die of dehydration because you aren't drinking while falling. That's if the lack of atmosphere didn't kill the little first. Okay, okay. Unless, unless, you just chuck that little <laughs> for <laughs> nut stealing <laughs> at the ground. And. Thank you for watching.